Oh, you've got... It's, it's progressing. Still a little boxy, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost, I'm not sure it's more boxy. I'm actually just struggling a little bit to mix my voice, having this recorded in here. Sounds a bit... Yeah, boxy. Sounds a bit boxy. So I've got this thing called Medieval Swell. I think it's pinging your room again. I think you're you're duplicating. Yeah. So low What's it sound like on headphones? I, I did it on headphones. I mean, yeah. in the sense of if you mix it on headphones. I'm mixing it. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah, think it what it's doing is reverberating the room again. It sounds okay. Uh, okay, it? while yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, okay. It, it's okay with um, mm, where's, can you play it again? There's, I can hear the node. Right. Uh, then we continue. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, uh, sorry. I left out this sure. loop here. Mm. Um, I'm using the uh, Albion 3 Isony flight loops. An octave lower than that. The lower then? Yeah. There. Ah, uh, yeah. Added, yeah. I've already taken out a little yeah. bit there. And I've got some that's overdrive. Where, that's where the boxiness is, I guess, around here. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay with a bit of, bit of EQ. Yeah. And actually, just as you walked in, I'm kind of chasing up Harry to get the curtains going and the, the door Great. thing. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. How are awesome. you doing? You good? Very good, very, very good. And how's the project? Good. The secret project. Good. Yeah, amazing. Have we had any feedback on my contribution? Yeah. Uh, a, a very short one, a sh short and sweet feedback. He said, I think you just said, great Christian. <laughs> That's what you want. Yeah. No, it's all good. Um, right. We've recorded some vocals. Okay. Over it. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll include you in the email so you can have a listen. Great. Thank but you so I much. I guess it's his, his decision. So I need to orchestrate to and copy that? Yes. That's fine. Just your the strings. Yeah. 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 Great. And that's for Thursday. Next. Yeah. Thursday. Week, week today. I'll bring my camera. Awesome stuff, Amazing. mate. Well done. Do you want to explain the concept uh, for, for Paul's benefit? So I'm trying to make some preamps, basically, that are designed to be low noise, especially low noise, for the sample recordings. And then you can lay out all of the circuit boards. Do you have to print the circuit board, or? So I think the next time you see me, I'll probably have something on the desk for you. Um, but I don't know, it probably won't look much like that. It'll probably be more like a rat's nest of wires. And the board you get made? Um, I'd probably start off with a, just cutting out of a piece of copper board on a CNC machine, so then I can make some changes. And then after that, I'd go to get a made at a company that does PCB etching. Um, so it's a nice high quality one. I don't know if it's going to work yet, though. That's, no, I've not seen any products that have... Well, I've not heard of any products that use that. I've just found a few bits of research that suggests that it's a good idea, so okay. it might not work. But even if it doesn't, then we'll have a lovely, nice-looking Spitfire audio. Blanking panels. <laughs> D D DFA boxes. <laughs> been a bit of a manic week this week uh, up and down to London and to York as well um, been working on the fly a lot on this uh, new series and I came across an idea this this may be one of those you de her uh, vlogs of mine um, but I had just one of these personal light bulbs I was really struggling I was doing a theme with my triple felt piano uh, which there's a link below to uh, getting that for free password Oscar um, I was using that and I was getting frustrated because the melody that I was playing um, had a repeated note and it was so patently obvious that there are no round robins in this sampler and I don't really know how to program them in EXS24, I know it is possible. So if you listen to this line... You'll see the second F sharp for me is aggravating because it just we're getting that machine gun effect. So I thought what I could do is emulate a round robin in my cheeky tracking and stacking technique. So I simply duplicated the uh, instrument and duplicated the MIDI. Then I lassoed all of the MIDI and uh, deleted it all except for the second F sharp. And then on the original instrument, I just deleted the second F sharp. Then what I did is uh, transposed up three and tuned down three to basically access a different sample but tune it into the same note. So if I run that here, that has a much better, less kind of machine gunny effect. But then I thought, well that's interesting, it's on a track all of its own. So I added some splosh and uh, a little pitchy thing and then boosted the general level and hey presto,
the reason why techniques like this interest me is I, I think that in this day and age, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but we're being asked to do very little whilst also doing a lot within uh, you know, a scene. So they want us to really make the scene work, but they really don't want too much music. So I'm always fascinated by these very engaging techniques where you can turn something simple into something quite interesting. So what if I made it if I mixed kind of individual notes within my triple felt uh, piano? So what I did is, is several repeated steps whereby I isolated notes across the octave range deleted all the others, saved that down, and then repeated for the next note. Quite a laborious process. I've saved this set of instruments down here, so click on the link below and uh, same uh, password as always, Oscar. So then what you do is you've basically got the entire spread of the keyboard, but on uh, individual instruments for each note. So all the Cs, all the As, all the Bs, different instruments. And then what you can do is if you lay these out and then apply different effects to each of those notes, it makes, I think, for a very engaging instrument. Now, this is just something that uh, I prepared earlier. What I did is I put everything into record, and as you can see, the central uh, region along C is the original, and all of the others are aliases. But I think what it makes is it's kind of like a digital prepared piano, but instead of the notes being prepared, the effects for the notes are kind of prepared. So have a listen to this. I don't know, I think I could have a lot of fun with that. For me, what's interesting is I'm doing very little musically with a single instrument, which is, I think, kind of quite engaging. So, worthy of experiment. <laughs> 